Hello, I'm Jeff Lashesky, custom homes by Jeff Builder of the 2014 St. Jude Dream Home. Come on in. This is the master bedroom. Uh, very large room. Got its own thermostat that controls the master bedroom and master bath completely separate from the rest of the house. Basically, it's ceiling with, looks like it's got some faux beams on it. Broken up in a square. So we have two rain heads, two shower heads, and six body wash jets. So if you can't get clean in there, then you're not going to get clean. <laughs> this is a large screen in the back porch with stamped colored concrete and looks out onto the huge backyard. This is about a half an acre lot. Completely fenced in, completely sprinklered, and completely sodded. Now this is a copper farmer sink. It has recently become very popular with my customers. I've been getting asked about it, so we decided to put on the drink. It would get hand. This year we did the cabinet end panels on the cabinets instead of the flat panels. And probably one of my favorite parts of the house is the new backsplash we did. It's just something different from anything I've ever done. And it's got a wall mounted pot filler. That's the keeping room, in my opinion, is it's an extra room off of the kitchen. And I don't know the real meaning behind keeping room. I explain it as it allows you to keep your family all in one location. Mom's doing the dishes or cooking. She's not separated from the family. Everybody can stay in the same location and have conversation. upstairs one of the four bedrooms that's upstairs this one has a, a Jack and Jill bathroom attached to it so you have boys and girls they can both share the bathroom without getting in each other's space here's another Well, I got asked to do it back in 2012, and at first I was actually hesitant. But as I researched more about it, I found out that it, it was a great and wonderful cause. Talked to my wife about it, and we decided it would be the right thing to do. I already had a lot of business, and uh, the St. Jude rep was pressing it as, uh, you're going to get a lot of exposure and a lot more business this way. I build his home. I didn't want any more business. I was uh, stressed at the time. It was, it was just me and my brother-in-law that were running the company. And uh, after talking to my wife again, I decided I better do this. It seems like the right thing to do to give back. And um, I'm glad I did it. And the more I've, I've done, this is my third one now. And the longer I've done it, uh, the more I learn about St. Jude. And I'm so glad I did. The, the biggest impact I get is probably the fact that a patient family, when they go up there, they only have to worry about their child. They don't have to worry about uh, living quarters. Um, St. Jude's helps provide them food transportation to and from the airport, um, and they never get a medical bill. The other thing that shocked me when I went up there for a tour was the, the hospital, they, they treat kids the entire child, not just the part that's sick. So if they need uh, glasses or they need dental work or anything else that goes on with that child, they handle right there in that hospital. Assuming we're, we're, we sell out and we have every year so far, There'll be $650,000 that goes back to the hospital to help these families out. And we got just about everything donated. I think we'll be less than $60,000 in this home that's valued at over $400,000. So it will cost them a little bit, but it's, it's better than most in the country. Last year, we gave them a zero dollar house. So St. Jude treats and researches um, kids with cancer and other deadly diseases um, from right here in, in the middle Georgia community, all over the country and all over the world at absolutely no cost to their family. Um, so we not only pay for treatment, we pay for housing, 
food and transportation. Um, and then we also research these kids. So everything that we kind of find about them, um, we can share with doctors and researchers all over the country. Just really encourage everybody to come out and see it. Jeff always builds a beautiful house and I think he's really outdone himself this wow. time. Our open houses, we're open Saturdays and Sundays, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturdays, noon to 5 on Sundays through April 19th. I'm recommending that if people want a ticket to get it now because once tickets are are gone, they're gone for good. So once we hit 6,500, we're done.